Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how to fix iPhone when you get error in iTunes or three U tool, okay? Because sometimes you make a lot of mistake if you don't understand how this work, okay? For example, this iPhone come to my shop. This is an iPhone 14 Pro, okay? And this one give me error, uh, error 14, 40, 13, error 9, different errors, okay? And the, the best thing that if you learn how to approach this kind of failure, I, I don't care any number can be a thousand or error one or error five any number because i don't go with the number i go with my analytics okay i go with my analysis i'm going to show you how i do the analysis when i get a error in itunes and you can do the same thing okay for example this iphone i already fixed it i'm going to show you this one i had to replace the nan I just uh, put an on and then uh, the phone is uh, working again, okay? I just had to put this uh, phone apart and that's it. This phone come to my shop and someone try already to fix it and they just don't go with the failure, okay? So let me just, um, let me just go with this. One more second. One more second. One more, one more. Oh, okay, there you go, okay? So we have this phone working, okay? I'm going to show you how, how you can do the analysis when you get the I, iPhone error, okay? The first thing you have to understand is you have a USB cable, USB cable, right? That is going to send information to your NAND, right? And the NAND need to have communication with the CPU, okay? That's so important to learn. The NAND also needs some voltage, right? The NAND had to have some voltage. And just be careful because sometimes you, you, for example, is some voltage that, for example, this one is 273 voltage, right? But sometimes is this one is for one block and this one is for another block. So sometimes, I'm going to make maybe later a video talking about this because the the ICs have sectors, okay? And you have to understand that if you have a capacitor right here, for example, right here, if I have a capacitor and I get 273 voltage, that's that's okay. But you have to understand that sometimes it's for different uh, blocks, different section uh, inside of the circuit. That is so important to learn because you can have the two point. 63 voltage right here but you had to know if you're going to have it right here i'm going to show you this one later because this one is a little bit complicated to, to uh, show you right now the steps for iphone uh, when we are doing the restore we have four stage stage number one we had the ram and the cpu stage number two we had the cpu and nand stage number three we had the nand and stage number four, we can have sensors, okay? I don't I don't care any error I have. And three three U2, we have zero to uh, two percent. Then we have uh, 12 percent to 80 percent, and then we have 80 percent to 30 percent or 45 percent, and 45 percent to 100 percent, okay? Okay, so you have to understand this, okay? If you get any error in this area, I'm going to show you how to check uh, the error. Remember, I always use a 3U tool to do. You can try Easy Flash or you can try iTunes Flash, okay? Either way, okay? Now, if you get an error right here in the first step, you don't going to have no Apple logo okay you don't going to have a logo right here so the first step you have to check right here is uh just the number one is remove the nan because sometimes the nan can uh, have conflict with the cpu so you have to remove the nan remove the nan and restore without the nan if you see the apple logo so is the nan the problem if you don't see the apple logo so you have to check one more thing you have to check the i2c but the smc i2c okay you have to check what uh, we're going to check right here we're just going to check in diamo and we're going to check the voltage voltage right if you have uh, if we have the right voltage in uh, every uh, in every part of the resistor 
if we still if we have if we remove the NAND and we don't have and we and we do, still don't have the Apple logo, if we check the I2C SMC and we still are uh, having the problem. So then the next thing that we have to check is uh, CPU use a rebounding. If we still have the problem, so the problem is going to be RAM and we have to remove them there or change the RAM. That's so a little bit complicated, right? Now, if you get Apple logo, so you have to check this, okay, right here. In this area, we are going to check the first thing, NAND. We can use programming the NAND, change the NAND, and that's it. Number two, we can check I2C, but we are going to check the APOAOP. Okay, this is the the NANs, the NANs that the 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 ones can give us the problems right here. Okay, another thing is it's so important to check under the NAND and dial mode. Okay, so important. Remember the NAND has some lines, PCA lines. This one come with a, a capacitors, right? Check the capacitor because one capacitor go to the CPU and one capacitor go with the NAND. So just be careful with these capacitors, okay? Also, re remove all the perif peripheric, okay? And another thing is restore with the uh, power supply, okay? Don't use your battery, use your uh, power supply, okay? Another thing, and if you if you fix this, if you if you uh, see in the phone get 90% and start uh, restoring, because in the 16% or 14%, you're going to have Apple logo. If we have Apple logo, number one is fine. If you already do this, so number two is fine. In this area, you can have NAN again, in this area, NAN. Okay, or you can have, just be careful with the NAN. Always try two NANs, okay? Always try two NANs. Another thing that can have, I just remember this, another thing that you can have a problem in these two, I'm going to show you this one later, is the coil, the coil of the GPU, GPU buck. Okay, I'm going to show you how to fix this one later, but this one is not common, but sometimes we can have this problem. NAN, try two NANs, and another thing that you can have right here is an EEPROM, okay? EEPROM CPU, sometimes the phone is water damage, or things like that, okay? Now, if you get the error right here in the fourth step, you can have a problem with uh, rows, with a cracking, cracking, or uh, sometimes, um, another uh, RF circuits, okay? Now, it's so, when this phone is changing to here, to here, and to here, you are going to hear the sound of the phone is disconnected and connected again. So first step, connected, and then disconnected, and then connected, and then connected, and then disconnected two or three times, okay? Another thing that you have to be careful when you are doing this kind of repairs, if you are doing the restore with the boards together, A board and B board, you separate the board and just try to do B, a, a board, just the A board, okay? And that's it, just try the e, a, a board without the B board. Now, if you restore with the A board and everything is going perfect, so just use eye socket and try to do the restore with the B board. If you get error, so maybe something in the B board is going to damage. We have to sectorate the B board. I'm going to show you this one later. This is my step by step when I'm doing uh, when I'm when I'm doing um, problem with error of iTunes or 3U tool, and I always do this. I never see the number. I don't care any number. I can get any number and the error, but I always check this. I have Apple logo or no? If I have a la Apple logo, is in 12 or 18%? Is in 18 18% or 45%, right? Because you had to check this, okay? Just practice. Practice this and let me know in the comment if you uh, fix an iPhone with this problem and with this video, okay? 
sorry that I don't record the this um, this repair because uh, I did uh, one class for my online course for Spanish. Maybe later I'm going to have an English, but uh, I just record this uh, class, okay? But I'm giving the information to just uh, you can uh, apply in your shop, okay? See you next time, my friends and. Nada, adios. Don't forget to share this video, please, with all your friends. Just tell everyone, I'm learning with Edgarito. See you next time. Bye.